So Liam Neeson has come out and spoke about his new revenge film, Trivial Pursuit, whatever it's called. Sounds like a shit film, but it's about revenge. And then he thought about how he wanted to take revenge back in the day, about 40 years ago, when his friend apparently got raped and she could only remember the color of his skin, said he was black. And then he wanted to take revenge against any black guy in those days. It was 40 years ago, he was so angry, and now he regrets thinking that. It's a thought process which is racist. He had a racist thought process, and he wanted to go out with a kosh, and as he said it, kill a black bastard. Most people in those days had those racist thoughts. The P word, the N word, they'd just say it to you in the street. You'd have to laugh about it or fight about it. You'd see it on sitcoms, that was a punchline. Sometimes the newsreaders would say it at the beginning of a, oh, hello, Packies, and like, that was shit we had to deal with. If you were going through the 70s and 80s and you didn't hear any racism, you weren't living in England. Racism was normal. There was no political correctness. Oh, it's really bad, it's disgusting behavior. You're probably a racist too, but you wanna act all liberal online. People weren't tweeting comments at us back then. There's no Twitter and Facebook. They'd say it to your face. He's an actor. He's trying to act like a bad man now because he's acting like the revenge killer as a 66 year old man getting revenge and killing people in the Taken films. Ain't no 66 year old fighting no one. The only thing you're taking is the piss, mate. We're supposed to believe some OAP's going about taking revenge against these gangsters. I'm sure back in the day, if a black guy walked out and saw him two years into his career, I knew that, act you're Liam Neeson. I got a kosh, I'm gonna get, what do you, can, can I have your autograph? There was no selfies back then. There was no, can I have your autograph, mate? I'm a big fan. My wife's gonna love this when I go home, man. Maybe keep those racist thoughts in your head before you try and publicize another film, if you get another film. Maybe you should make a film with Mark Wahlberg and Mel Gibson and call it The Three Racists. Obviously, I'm not saying you're racist now, but you did have racist thoughts like most people had back then, except most people won't admit to that now. And if you're watching this and you press the dislike button, you're probably a racist too.